anyways oh, again welcome back thank you so much hi how are you doing so uh first of all i want to ask that uh, from where did you get an idea to you know put such a unique name like caught in a cup okay to be very what honest what was it yeah. we very honest we go back 7 years okay so i started blogging almost like 7 years back and that time there was all craze about you know like a crazy blog name and you know you need to have a like a crazy or a fun blog name right so mm-hmm. that time me and my friends were just sitting and we were just like you know writing on some words and we just club everything together so it was so much it, it just happened i was that time till now till day i'm still into accessories and that time i was like way more than what i am right now and that's where the name was born cotton a cuff and it's something very unique and you know everybody out there knows me as cotton a cuff like nobody knows me as ria jen so it's fun yeah. you know everybody knows me by my blog's name even if i go out you know people call me cotton a cuff like people don't know my <laughs> i swear they don't know my they think cotton a cuff is my name so yeah, yeah. it came up and it's you know quite unique and quite catchy and it so that's where the yeah. name it's such an achievement you know that people know you as caught in a cuff like it's it's great and uh, as you told that it's been 7 years now right. so i think back then uh, bloggers culture was just growing up and uh, it wasn't that much like how it is now so um you know how you convinced your parents to uh put yourself into blogging because every indian parents wants their child to have like a safe secure stable uh profession so right. yeah right so to be honest when i started blogging right it was all my passion it was everything was like i used to love what i used and that time even when we go again way back you know like that time i was learning for time you know like there was no way to tell us what's next like all the bloggers were mm-hmm. started we did not know like okay what's next we, even we were learning so to convince my parents it wasn't like a major major task which is told me ki you should just go what you love of course convincing them was like uh, because that time is not get paid and plus we should just enjoy working mm-hmm. and you know of course when you're working you need to get paid right for something Right. But that time, I think my parents believed in me, and they were like, "Go ahead, do whatever you feel like doing for now, because it's your passion." So it was, it wasn't like a task, but it was, you know, you need to answer some questions like, "Okay, for how long will you do this?" And it was, I was just like, "Till you know what? It can be like you know, side business as well." You know, when I started blogging back in the day, I was like, "It's just for fun. Let me enjoy it, and let's see where it goes." So here I am today. <sighs> yeah, it's so good. you know everyone wants parents like yours who supports right so yeah um next up i have like you know nowadays we see like every person on the internet is putting a sorry, content I'm, i'm sorry i'm breaking why see so many of my friends has joined in here <laughs> it's crazy <laughs> so yeah as i was asking um <laughs> you know in, on the internet nowadays every next person is a content creator everyone and everyone wants to put content out there so is there like a tip something that you want to give for like upcoming bloggers okay to be honest um, you know i see so many upcoming bloggers and they are doing a fabulous job to be very honest they're doing an amazing job i get inspired with so many of these new content creators to be honest they are doing like i get i just go like oh my god like these guys are killing it for them i think just be yourself and do what you're doing do not be like don't don't uh, be like oh this person is doing that that person is doing that be yourself in what you're good at like you're good in fashion focus on fashion If you're good in makeup, focus on makeup. If you're good with your travel stories, focus on those stories. Don't mix and match. Like you know, first yeah. make your base really strong, and then go ahead. Like you know, if I'm, if I'm into fashion first, I will talk more about fashion on my page. I'll keep talking about fashion, and then build that. So for all the upcoming bloggers, I would just like to say, if you love something like me, fashion, be it makeup, just stick to it. Go all out with that, and then jump into you know maybe makeup. Then you can expand. technically mm-hmm. like that yeah 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 so, so that, i'm seeing a lot of you know your fans have joined in and there's so much love showering so uh, i'm really curious to know um, you know have you ever uh, yeah 
So have you ever like been through like a crazy fan encounter? Yeah. Never forget. Yeah. So there was this one encounter I would love to share here. So I was coming back from the airport. I was with my family, and our flight got delayed. So I was very very irritated. Okay, I was just sitting in one corner, very irritated because I had to be back to Bombay for an event, and then um, I was just like very angry. Um, like everything is gone. Like you know the events gone. Everything's you know, sitting. There's this one follower of mine who came. I'm like oh my god, is that Ria? Oh my god, is that Cotton? She hugged me really tight, and I was like, yeah, that's me. Oh, it's so great to see you and everything. And I think she was so happy. The mood just you know just turned into a good mood, and I was like, thanks for coming in and you know coming and talking to me. And then she was like, I saw you from far. I went on your story, but you had not uploaded any story that you were in Jaipur. Uh, but I knew it was you, oh, and then she just came to me, and then she just hugged me so tight. I felt so good. So this one encounter, and you know, once I was visiting Lal Bagsha Raja Ji for darshan, so one of my followers saw my story, and she appeared. She actually came down to search for me, and she actually oh. found me in the crowd. So it was like, That's like crazy. yeah, I'm blessed with such amazing CIC fam. So yeah, it's amazing to meet mm-hmm. them in person because. This is what I am because of them, you know. This is where I've come because of them. So I'm, I, I enjoy meeting them wherever I. Correct. You know, it's a surreal feeling to like see them in person and uh, screens. Me, so it's very easy. But uh, seeing them in person, you feel so much loved and blessed. Yes. It's yeah. amazing. Your fam in person, internet fam in person, because. the amount of love they have for you like touch what i'm so grateful like i have encountered so many of it like so many of them so i'm really glad you know yeah yeah so i'm really you know curious to know one thing like when you mm-hmm. got your first salary out oh of God. blogging you know, first paycheck or anything what did like, you do with that okay. amount okay uh, so now i have to share this with you so when a brand approached me okay so again i told you nobody was teaching us like nobody was telling us what's the next step it was us who were learning right while we were doing our car like while we were blogging so a brand approached to me and then they were like how much do you charge i was like are they okay how can they ask me how much do i charge like i don't charge anything because we used to always you know like because uh, there were times we used to work on barter the times we used to just do it for fun back in the days i'm going again 7 years back so yeah. this brand asked me that you know how much do you charge and i was just like are they okay how can they ask me how much do i charge so i gave them an amount you know i just gave them a random figure and i told them this is what i charge and i thought they will run away i was like nobody you know nobody's paying to vloggers and they actually collaborated with me i was i was on cloud 9 that day i was like oh my god i'm getting money i'm so happy and you know like it was such a I still remember that feeling. It was my first uh, salary from blogging. My so it was just so amazing, and I got the check, and I couldn't believe it. It was under my name, and I was like, okay, this is actually happening. So I think I might have just uh, celebrated with that money, like you know, like just go went all out and just celebrated with my first salary. I'm pretty sure it would be a great feeling to you know get something yeah. under your name. Yeah. It was. I'm telling you because that time, like when the brand message, how much do you charge? I was like wondering, is the brand okay? How can they ask me that? <laughs> so yeah, correct, correct, yeah. So uh, recently your birthday went up. Yes. So you, yeah. So first of all, happy belated birthday. And, Thank you so. Uh, something that I want to ask that in this twenty eight years, you know, there's like one ideology that you follow. and you swear by that okay so i would just want to say that go with the flow and enjoy everything what you're doing because you never know what's going to happen next like we never knew covid would hit so hard and life would just change right like for me like nobody imagined that so i would just want to say that just go with the flow and enjoy every day like you know just enjoy yeah. and make memories enjoy with your beloved friends family everybody just make sure that you're having a good time Correct. Yeah. So uh, you have been in this business since a long time, and you know you have shown like everything on the internet, and there's like such happy moments. But mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure, like in all these years, you know there must be like a downfall or some moments you felt like giving up and switching to some other profession. So would you like to share about that? 
so uh, of course you have a good days and bad days every day can't be a good day and every day can't be a bad day either right so yeah i had like you know again we go way back then when blogging was just you know everybody figuring out what it is that time when i was trying to figure out what's next for me so that time i you know like you need to like when you like i was 23 24 back in the day and i was like start something you know, something which will which will help me a lot in the future and that time i actually had taken up styling jobs but i wasn't enjoying that much to be very honest you know that wasn't my cup of tea to be honest like you know, i did take up uh, like uh, events too that time but again i wasn't enjoying my heart was not completely out there so yeah there were times that i was thinking to switch into something you know switch my profession mm-hmm. but somehow i always ended up here like somehow mm-hmm. i always blogging like I, i did not stop blogging like i did you know i did events i did um, i did the styling jobs i did a lot of you know i was switching professions i've actually even sold tata sky set of boxes in my past you know like i've done quite a bit yeah so i was like you know figuring out my life that time and yeah again again i came back to blogging so this is what it is so yeah there were times there were really bad days and there were really good days as well yeah i hope you get all the good ones on your way now and same for yeah even for you everybody is watching yeah. same <laughs> so um with your profession you know you have to put yourself out there every day so right. i'm pretty sure like it invites a lot of trolls and you know people dragging you down so how do you tackle that to so see when it comes to my profession i feel uh, everybody thinks that they somehow know me so well that they can say whatever they want to it's a part and parcel of your job right like for us yeah. bloggers and content creators i think there's a part and parcel of our job and it's okay if somebody is actually giving a point of view which you know which makes a lot of sense i'm okay with that but when it comes to trolls i just ignore it you thinking that the other person is having a bad day so let them whatever they want to say it and it's completely fine maybe i'm helping them in some way by giving them that space like my audience like my page to come in you know whatever they want to say to me but i don't let it affect myself there are days which of course it does get to my head and i of course think about it ke why are they commenting like that you know there were so many times that somebody commented uh, please go to a rehab and fix your face go fix your smile so of course there are days which just triggers you okay what's wrong with them but some days you just need to ignore take a back seat enjoy and be grateful because there are so many people who are following you for a reason and there's so many people who wouldn't like your work and that's completely okay you know because everybody can't like your work but you just need to uh, accept the trolls and just be okay with it like okay let them just say whatever they want to because it's it's not them meeting that person they are saying you know they're just sitting on the back of the computer or your phone and they're commenting so completely that's completely fine with me but yeah there are days where i want to like know who the person is want to talk to have one on one conversation hi what's the problem tell me but then you just ignore you just move on you like just go like okay just be grateful for what you have and just enjoy with that and whoever you know like there are like there are my content creator friends who actually we talk about it and it really triggers them and you know why are they commenting you know i get it like because it is something which you don't want to hear every second day like you know like because we put our all our heart and soul out here it's just one thing you can just ignore the haters because they wouldn't do they are just there yeah. to re- but hate comments i know it sometimes very really difficult to ignore it but the best thing is to ignore it because ultimately you're ruining your own mood they are too happy by commenting they get happy oh yeah you know i commented i'm too happy but this is something which affect us you know it goes you know we think about it right for seven but yeah, you just need to ignore it just say okay okay they had a bad day and they were just trying to make our as a bad day and they're happy in that so it's okay yeah so yeah that's such a great learning to just ignore and move forward or oh, when just yeah. say okay better in some way like you know they were having a bad day they came and they came and dashed me up on my work it's okay so it's fine correct correct so you mentioned some of your indian bloggers i want to know like you know some indian bloggers that you really look forward to and like oh, I, inspire i have like touched with all like you know i am friends with so many indian content creators we all are really great friends and we help each other to grow out here like you know to be aware like uh, whoever i'm friends with you know all my content creators we are here to grow each other but my favorite has to be my best friend now she actually influences but in a lot of ways to be very honest i was i'm going to give you just a short story i was yeah. never 
really fashioned so much you know like i think she is like a good influence for me because now i'm just into luxury bags so much it's because of her only because of her so yeah like i really love her work and she is so hard working and it's like i love all the indian content creators my favorite of course i'm being a little biased out here because she's my best friend. so yeah but others like santoshi kritika juhi priyanka everybody does a great job everyone Yeah, they yeah, you guys are like the OG bloggers of India. Yeah, like I can name everybody because everybody is actually killing it in their own space, and I actually look yeah. up to everybody because they are doing a fabulous job. Correct, correct. And you guys have such similar yet different styles. And, right. Uh, it's great to watch all of you. So uh, sadly, we have come to like an end of this live, but. Um, I have one last question. Yeah, I have one last question that um, you know we have seen you create such fashion content, but if you were asked what is your personal favorite style, what would you say? Okay, so this is a very fun question. To be very honest, some days I feel like I'm a street style girl. Some days I feel like I'm very classy and sophisticated. Some days I feel like edgy so i would like to say it's a mix and match of everything you know i love i love to experiment like some days i go all out but if you go if you ask me my go to will be a simple classic you know like a jeans and a crop top because i like crop tops and jeans if you were to ask me but i would in like if i were to sum it up i would say like i i love to experiment so it's a bit of everything okay yeah that's great So yeah we have come to an end we it was great and lovely talking to you uh, same i see so many of you guys joining and it's so much fun yeah. to see everybody going it was so much fun having <laughs> you here and so it was so much fun to talk to you as well same same here yeah so uh, all the luck and success to you and i hope to see your many contents same to you same to you like all the luck and success you Same Thank to you. you. Yeah. Thank, Thank you so you much for being part of this. Thank you.